Hey guys, uh, Brick Stand Garage here. Um, figured I'd give you guys a quick update. I've been tinkering on um, on the car here and there, but I have a lot going on inside the house that I'm working on. Um, plus, I'm getting over this cold that I had, so I've been trying to stay out of the garage because it's pretty chilly in here right now. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd give you a, a little update on the C4 Corvette. I'm gonna try and fit this inner, keep this intercooler here with some mounts. I'll run some mounts from probably these holes to maybe this side, uh, the hood um, hinge hole bolt on each side, get a support under. So uh, the outlet on this turbo, it should come in and worm in through here. I think once I modify this uh, little pan here, should be able to get the fit come in through here. And I'd like it to wrap around and come back through on this side, which I'm gonna have to relocate my horns that are right here. I think, bleep, yep, that's my horn. So I'll have to relocate that. And once I come into the intercooler here, the air is gonna keep moving. It'll come out the other side. There's a good size hole there. I think I'll be able to feed, maybe do a little more trim, trimming right here, feed the, um, the intercooler pipe up through there and kind of come around here somewhere um above where the exhaust is gonna go um may have to come over this radiator cap like come kind of close there but i'll come up and right there back into the intake it's ugly right now but trust me it will probably be ugly at the end too um so don't get your hopes up but it should be fast get it ripping i'm gonna I might try and run these fans, but these are cheap eBay fans, like 3,200 CFMs and it's wireless dreams. I might have to tuck this down further, maybe do a push style fan there or get a Taurus fan, which I'd, I'd love to fit a Taurus fan on here, a Ford Taurus fan. Uh, so it is a dual speed system. So I'll be able to hook it up to my Holly system, I believe to the Holly ECU and have it, the, the high pressure, the high speed fan kick on as a, um, as the second fan, because I can control two fans from the ECU. Turbo run through there. I want to run this intake down through here and try and fit either a uh, cone filter or just put a cone filter there and maybe a heat shield. But I'm going to, um, I know it will take in a lot warmer air, but uh might just like dip it down as low as I can without getting it dragging. Um, we'll figure that out. Um, maybe I'll get some proper headers, but you can see I... Kind of booger welded this knot out of this. Uh, probably is gonna crack in like five miles. Um, I put truck accessories back on it um, just because, as you can see, it fits. There's plenty of clearance. Um, so I got back back uh, to LS stuff on here, LS truck stuff. Um, I got cable driven throttle body. This throttle cable is the old one from the Corvette. Um, I got a truck throttle cable kicking around here somewhere that I got out of the junkyard um, That's a little longer. You can see some more Booger welds over here. I just flipped the little stock truck manifolds upside down Kind of got a few things tack welded just so the turbo would hold itself I'm gonna do a bracket from the, t the turbo flange here I'll probably weld it and either fish around to these bolt holes right here with a maybe some half inch uh, rod or something to a little flange with a bolt um probably get two of those on there something i'll figure that out as you can see i still got everything's blocked up and uh, covered up and this isn't sitting down because i still have the plate in there because i'm gonna have to remove it when i put the flywheel in i'll have to lift the engine a little bit so i got this box in the mail the other day it's a four inch flange it's gonna go It'll go somewhere here-ish because the pipe that I have, that big bad mofo right there, is gonna come off here. I have another couple pieces coming in. It's gonna come above here. Hopefully I can leave this in, but I might have to get rid of this and modify the hood a little bit. It'll come in through here. I already measured it out. It fits down inside here. Um, I have the heater box take it out and i'm gonna be able to make like a a sheet metal thing to go in here like a box and it's gonna have to be really tight in here to get the exhaust in but uh 
pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get it in there. Um, so I just have this uh, V-band to make it easier to, you know, so the whole exhaust isn't welded solid from the engine to the turbo, or well, for the, from the turbo to the, the mufflers, or lack of mufflers, I guess. I got this off eBay. It's a four inch flange. It's made to go to, uh, I think it's like a Borg Warner, uh, one of the turbos, I think an S475, uh, but it fit perfectly. I lined it up, everything's good. It was a little cheaper just cause it comes with just the one side and then the, the clamp. Um, miscellaneous exhaust pieces. And then I have a, T4, T6, T, T45, like the whole spiel. I have a kit for all those turbos. Hopefully it'll fit on here. This is just the drain line. The fill line should be in pretty soon. Um, this. Right here, I got some exhaust wrap. Can't take it out of the box for you guys. But. This was only like $37. I, it's probably cheap stuff, but I get two of these rolls, a ton of these ties. Um, hopefully that'll do everything I need. I got a couple packages of those in here. Um, and then I think right here, yep, that's my fuel regulator. So this right here, it was like, I think it was a little more, it might've been 40 or 50 bucks. As you can see, um, it's going to be a, it's a fuel pressure regulator and it's a, a fuel filter. It's, I guess, stock on, I think, like, you know, C5 vets or F bodies or something. And it has high pressure and your return lines. And then it goes to the returnless LS uh, style fuel rail. So thanks, guys, for uh, watching this and sticking it out this long through the video. Um, some people don't find any of this exciting, um, but we'll get some more exciting things or some exciting things happening pretty soon once the car's running. Um, but thanks for watching. We'll see you guys uh, on the next video.